In this video, we're going to be integrating Meraki with StealthWatch Cloud. This integration simply will resolve IPs to host names if available. To start out, we'll need to create a read-only admin account with access to the network in the Meraki dashboard. To do so, navigate to Organization and then Administrators. I'll go ahead and click Add Admin and create this admin with read-only access to the organization. And to be just a little bit more specific, I'll give the account read-only access to the specific network in question. After the read-only admin is created, let's go ahead and enable API access to Meraki. Oops, let's go ahead and save this page first. To enable Meraki API access, we'll navigate to Organization and then Settings. We'll scroll down and check the box for API access. By default, it's turned off, but I've already enabled it in my dashboard, so I'm just showing you where it's at. Next, I'll need to create an API key for my new read-only account. That means I need to log out of my current administrator account and log back into that read-only account. After I log back in, I'm going to click on my name on the top right-hand corner and choose My Profile. Scrolling down the My Profile screen, I'm going to click on the button to generate a new API key. I'm going to copy that new API key and then swing over to the StealthWatch Cloud dashboard. In the StealthWatch Cloud dashboard, I'll click on the cloud on the top right and choose Sensors. Then I'll choose the Integrations tab. On the left-hand side, I'll click on Meraki. Under the Credentials tab, I'll enter my API key along with my network name or organization, and then click the plus sign next to it to add it. And that's pretty much all the configuration I need to do. If I have traffic seen by StealthWatch Cloud and Meraki has an IP to host name binding, it'll populate here in the StealthWatch console. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this.